can you briefly explain what brought you to First Step? Um, I was um, in a um, in a uh, abusive relationship. I am a victim of domestic violence. Um, my ex-boyfriend and I. I was originally in another organization. They referred me back to um, this county because I was in another county, and uh, it was a. Um, granted, it wasn't physical. It was, it was um, verbal and emotional abuse, but still painful. I uh, had a situation where um, the cops were involved, and actually, I was referred right to Jill, who works at the First Up in Canton and that's how I found out about you guys. I would have never found out on my own. What support or services did you receive once you came to First Step? First Step has helped me um, find an apartment, um, counseling, um, they've helped with job um, training, job, some, not job training, but job skills and getting my resume and interview skills up to, up to par. Uh, Basically, she was my support system. I call her like my, my guardian angel, Jill, um, because I didn't really feel comfortable telling like my friends or my family right away what had happened outside of my mom. They've helped me with uh, material things, and then I've also been um, they've been a very friendly and very supportive through the whole process. She was just amazing. She helped me through every step of the legal system of what action I had to take. Um, I wasn't able to afford my rent and they were able to help me out with some gift cards and that was just amazing because I honestly don't know how I would have got through the situation that I was in, you know, having my four-year-old daughter and everything. They just helped immensely. What specifically did you find the most helpful while you were receiving your services here? Without a doubt, um, the housing services have helped me enormously. I, I didn't have family to go to, um, or and my friends. I have friends that were able to give me emotional support, but not material support. So this place has helped me find a place for me and my, and my my child to have a safe place. I would say definitely the counseling because talking to her helped me emotionally and everything. That was the biggest help from them. Can you describe how you felt when you were living um, in your abusive situation and how you feel now? Such a big difference. Like I said, it was more of an emotional and, and, and verbal abuse. However, he did threaten me um, that he would, that he wanted to hit me. I guess I almost felt trapped, like there was no way out. He was so controlling. And now there's this freedom, there's this feeling of safety that I don't have to I don't have to answer to anyone I don't have to be um, disparaged by by um, by someone it's uh, I'm so thankful for what I've gotten here I really am thankful for having this a safe place to go to now I feel like free just complete freedom like I'm able to actually live my life how I've wanted to all along without having someone control me or tell me what I'm doing or who I'm talking to or who are you who was just calling you like 20 questions and just like the jealousy and the controlling and the manip manipulation like I feel like I've escaped all that and it's like an amazing feeling so I feel like I can concentrate on myself and my daughter and work things in life that actually matter. <laughs> what advice would you give to another survivor who may be afraid to um, come and seek help? The first step is the hardest, but once you're here, you're, you're completely surrounded by wonderful people who will give you every, um, every opportunity to, um, I organize I, to excel, to, to move forward, to, to get out of that, that terrible situation you might be in. I would say never be afraid to um, come and seek help just because I don't know how other organizations are, but with this one, you know, you guys have pagers on your doors. Like, you know you're in a safe place. You know that, um, you know, they are not going to be able to find you and your, well, your significant other won't even know that you came here. They don't have to know. So never be afraid to reach out because if you do, it could be too late because I almost died and I 
that's a scary thought. I ended up in the hospital, so I wish I had reached out sooner. I wish I had noticed the signs and stuff. So it's always good to talk to someone, especially with an organization like this, where you're not gonna, you know, have to worry about them finding out that you went here or anything like that. It's very private, it's very discreet, everything's in confidentiality, which is awesome. For more information about First Step of Michigan or how to help our cause, go to our website at www.firststep-mi.org and click on either the Get Involved or Giving Opportunities tabs.